Hello, in this video we're going to continue discussing principles of inclusion and exclusion but this time we're going to see uh, examples where we have more than two sets. So if we have three sets, what would be the A union B union C equal to? So the number of elements in A, B and C so as we see we're going to say we're going to include all of A and all of B and all of C but it's the same as before once I include all of A and all of B so I include A intersect B twice so I have to remove the intersection of the two sets and the same when I say I'm including all of A and all of C this part here A intersect C I include it twice so I must remove it at least once and the same with B and C include all of A and all of B I mean I include this intersection twice so I'm gonna have to remove it once so as we see we remove this part and this part and this part three times so with, which means I'm a little bit shorter now so I move remove the this part here which is the A intersect B intersect C so we have to add it because we removed more what we need to remove so this is when we have to reset so we add we subtract and then we add as it says here in this uh, formula but here it tells us when you have N set as many as 20 or 30 so first you add all one set, you, in, you remove the intersection of the two sets, the sum of all intersection of two sets, then you add the intersection of three sets, and you remove four sets, and so on. So that's why we have negative 1 to the power of n plus 1. So if you have uh, 20 sets, so the last one you're going to have to, so the last thing you have to do is to remove the intersection of all 20 sets. Let's see when you have, for example, four sets. So as you see, we're going to have to add all four sets. So since we include A, B, and C, and D, we include too much. A lot of intersections are overlapping, so we have to exclude them. So here we're going to have to remove the intersection between the two sets, A, B, A, C, A, D, and then B, C, and B, D, and then C, D. Now that we're done with the two sets, we remove too much so we have to add the intersection of the three sets all possibilities of three sets so the possibilities of three sets are as follow a b c a b d and a c d and then b c d then again we have to subtract the intersection of four sets and this is uh, what are and this is the inclusion and exclusion when you have four sets Let's see examples. In a class of students taking computer course, the following were observed. So we have total of 50 students, uh, no Pascal. So let's call A are the student who know Pascal. We have 18 students, no Fortran. Let's call it B. And we have 26 who knows COBOL. Let's call it C. Nine students know both uh, Pascal and Fortran. So what I would say is that A intersect B is 9 and 16 know both Pascal and Cobol. So I would say A intersect C is 16. And we have 8 know both Fortran and Cobol, which means that B intersect C is 8. And we have 47 know at least one of the three languages, meaning A union B union C is 47. So the first question here, how many students know none of these languages? So as you see, the total of S, we have 50 students. So A union B union C is 47. So what I'm highlighting here inside is 47. Everybody was surveyed is 50, so therefore we have three outside of the union. So we have 3, which is 50 minus 47. Students know none of these languages. So the next question, it says, how many students know all three languages? Meaning, 
I need the intersection. Where would be A intersect B intersect C? That's the question. Using the principle of uh, inclusion exclusion, we have we have the following: A plus B plus C minus the intersection of two and plus the intersection of three. So we know that the union is 47. So 47 it's equal to 30 plus 18 plus 16 minus the intersection of A and B which is 9 A and C which is 16 B and C is 8 and then plus maybe X now you solve for this and you get X to be 6 so right here we have 6 so here we use the uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion so you could do this a little bit differently, but it will may take you a little bit longer. So now, once all of this is done, we could say that since A intersect B is 9, and here it's 6, the common for 3 of them is 6, so 3 must be here. And since A intersect C is 16, so 10 must be here, and then also B intersect C is 8 and the intersection of all three of them is 6 so here must be 2 so since A has 30 so 30 minus 3 10 and 6 I will get 11 and the same way 18 minus 3 minus 2 and minus 6 we get 7 here and 26 minus 10 minus 6 minus 2 will give me 18 here so this way if we have more questions, we could answer them easily because we know how many elements in every uh, subset. And here we have another example where we have three sets. A survey of 150 college students revealed that to 83 on a motorcycle. So let A be uh, people who own motorcycles. And then 97 are on a bike. So let B be the bike owners. 97 and 28 on motorcycles so let's see become the motorcycle people and we have 28 of them and uh, 53 on a car and a bike so a car a and a bike b the intersection of the two is 53 and then 14 on a car and a motorcycle a intersect c is 14 and also seven on the motorcycle and a bike so B intersect C is 7. So we get these details now. Uh, and 2 on all three of them. So here we have the intersection of A intersect B intersect C. And the question is, how many students on a bike and nothing else? So what is this uh, area of a bike and nothing else? So what is this area of a bike and nothing else? That means I'm looking for this area right here bike and nothing else. So what do we need to do here? A we need to find B but nothing else. That means B and which means if I do the Morgan's law this is B but take away not A and not C. So you could intuitively say B but not A and not C so and now so it's B intersect not A intersect not C the A intersect B intersect C is 2 and A intersect B is 53 that means this area right here is 53 minus 2 which is going to be 51 right here and also B intersect C, we have 14, but we, if you take 2, that means this area right here is 12. And also, we could do the same with A intersect C. And since B intersect C is 7, so we have 2 here, so this area here must be 5. B, A intersect C is 14, so take away the 2, and what we have left here is 12. Now the rest is easy, so we could answer right here we have 18 and here we have 9. So now how many in this section here, we could answer it easily even without thinking of the uh, 
intuitively we could answer it and then we could find out that here we have 39 and now the next question is asking B how many students do not own any of the three so meaning so since A union B union C is adding all of them which is 136 and also since we are surveying as 150 students now we know inside here people who own one of these the motorcycle bike or automobile we have 136 so outside of this which is people who own not A not B and not C is the same as 150 minus 136 give me 14 that's 14 students do not own any of the three vehicles I hope this is helpful